It's time for some more Hollow Knight. I've been enjoying playing this game on stream a lot. I've been having a good time. As soon as I unmute the mic, I have to like cough. Are you kidding me? Mm. All right. Let's get the silly Earthbound music, the me music out of here. Um, <laughs> it's, I don't know. I just, Streaming on Thanksgiving. Uh, that music seemed appropriate today. Uh, let's just get right into Hollow Knight. I don't know. I've been wanting to play more of this game, but um, I knew I didn't have that long uh, to stream last night, so I played um, TF2 instead. Yesterday, during the day? I would like to go to the sewers area the royal waterways i guess it's called there's a bunch more stuff to do there so that's i think where i want to go and i think this is a path to get there so let's do it we have the double jump now we we did a lot last stream we defeated the watcher knights collected the double jump oh beautiful feels really good to deal with those enemies that way so this is where we uh, got let out from Dung Defender. I don't know exactly what this valve does, but it does it does something. Um, 
if I follow the pipe, I'm sure it'll be more clear, but I know there was more stuff to do down here. If I go down too far this way, we're going to end up in Ancient Basin, which is not where I want to be. So I guess let's go back up. It feels so good when, when you start this game, you have basically none of the movement abilities, and then you slowly get more and more of them with the uh, dash, and then the wall jump, and then with the crystal dash, and then the double jump, and eventually it's like, wow, the movement feels really good in this game. I'm so bad at knowing where I am on the map, though. I guess we will go back through Dung Defender's area. It seems like a good idea, I guess. I don't know. Maybe there's more here. Oh, hi. I forgot I could talk to you. I love this guy. He's so funny. Let's see what you're thinking, buddy. He just said, so there were others. I think, uh, I think Mr. Dung Defender knows about the Hollow Knight, and I think he knows that we're related. That's pretty cool. Oh. Nice. This guy reminds me of a character, um, V1 Freud from, but like a, a much, much more fun and much better version, but he reminds me of uh, V1 Freud from Armored Core 6. I've had that game on the mind. I, I, I played through, uh, a lot of it a couple months ago. It's a very good game. I might play that on stream, but I did kind of like ruin it by playing the entire thing, like the entire thing off stream. Okay, I think we've had, we've heard enough from you. I want to get more stuff from this area. I want Eastmist here so that I can swim in acid. And I think that's here somewhere. Hello. You've been here the whole time, you're the one who's been here. Can I say gay rights? I mean, yeah. I can. Anything else you'd like me to say for you? <laughs> they nailed the feel of this area. It just, it feels wet and creepy. Now both of these legs are gonna wake back up. Ah, they're so fast. I was literally swinging as fast as I could. No, that's it. Okay, well, I'll indulge you. Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Man. Whenever you hear that, um, sound you can expect me to get hit yep that little bat enemy that explodes gets me every time I don't have the map for this area at all i don't know if we're visiting fluke marm i don't know i don't know you don't know what i'm saying no matter what this game no i think this is this feels like the path to the god slayer or whatever it's called there's a DLC that they added in this game that allows you to, like, fight against every boss again. And I think this might be the path to that. I don't know. I really like the devs of this game for, um, making all of the DLC free and it comes with the game when you buy it. That is just pretty cool. I hear some, another enemy up above me. Maybe I should go back up there. Did I miss something? I bet you there's a thing you can crystal dash and get. Get back up there because of the, um... Hmm. Oh, that was it. Weird. I'm just being... <clears throat> oh no, that I won't say. That's too far. Oh wow, they even put a little bit of ceiling there so that you couldn't do that. Damn. Okay, well, I only took one mask of damage there. I avoided taking the two from the exploding one. These guys make some messed up sounds. I don't... 
bit early on that one. Oh, it's this room. All of these little gross things on the ground actually count as enemies. Um, I saw... <clears throat> Somebody did a challenge run. Uh, I think I mentioned this last stream. There's something called Essence uh, that you need a certain amount of to beat the game. Um, and they... You can get it from enemies, and the fastest way to do it... What, you can get it one at a time from enemies, so if you don't want to fight any of the bosses that give you a hundred, you can farm it slowly. And that room is one of the best places to do it, because all those little gross things on the wall have a chance to give you one essence. I think. Oh, I didn't get hit by that one. Okay, where does this go? There's two paths here. Ah, oh, I hate it when there's two paths. I'm so bad at... There's, now there's more paths? Oh, this is the gross, like... Oh, this room looks nasty. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's try it this way. This is a, just a shortcut, huh? Oh, yeah. When you break those things open, it's always a shortcut. I don't know why. It's not two paths. It's just one path. Idiot. Let's go this way. Let's see if I can get one of them to give me an essence. I don't know. Somebody humming? I would like to find Cornifer again. Do like, this room looks pretty vile. I think those enemies, yeah, they hit you for two hearts. Those guys suck. It has so much health, too. How many of these guys are there here? Can I do this? God. You're too fast, I can't catch you, man. Let's not lure the other one in. How much health does this fucking thing have? Okay. I don't know if that's acid. No, I think that's water I can go in. Oh, I think that's what, um... That big switch did. It was. It made all the water in here. Um, it would, how do you say? I, I can swim in it now. It like cleansed all the water. Oh no! Another one. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from you. Oh, there's more. Please don't die. Those guys suck. I think I had a lot of money, too. Oh man, I was far away. Where did I update the map? I, I want to get the map for that area. And I don't think the best way to do it is to go the way that I went. I'm gonna- I'm gonna take the other entrance. <coughs> Feels so good to play. Okay. These enemies are just too strong for me right now. I'll deal with you later. Oh yeah, I think we got the car working by the way. If you're listening. Um The battery that we bought at AutoZone uh, works, so that's pretty cool. God, I don't want to go back to that area where I am. Um, I died. Those enemies were hard. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Oops, that was the entrance that I wanted to go in. Feeling terribly talkative right now. But 
you know, I am doing the whole streaming thing, so here I am. Oh. And, like, I don't know what to talk about other than how much I love this game. It just is really good. Oh. Favorite Disney princess? I I'm just gonna wait until uh, Disney purchases Nintendo, uh, and then I can say Princess Peach. Uh, did Disney technically make the Nintendo movie? That would be funny if so. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I wanna just find Corny. So if I can find the map, it'll be easier to find my ghost that I left behind when I died, but I won't be able to afford the map. Hmm. Slight problem. Oh. But I had a brief second longer before that thing woke back up. No, but Disney Princess is my favorite? I don't know. There are so many, like, weird outside answers that you could use now, too. Um... Even though... So many of them, like, promote bad things because Disney is, you know, quintessential American company. I.e. pretty awful general. Where is my man with the map? These enemies look so innocent, and then they are not. They are little demons. There we go, I got an essence off you. I can't do that well. It's the map guy. I don't think he's over here. Yeah, this was definitely all acid before it hits you. So I'm glad we went and did Dung Defender earlier. Oh, egg. Found an egg. Push that guy into the water. I think I'm going the wrong way now. Yeah, I've been in this room. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't where Yzma's Tear is. I don't know. Maybe it's in, like, Green Path? Okay. Trying to focus slightly here. Where was the last time I saw Cornifer's little paper trail? He literally leaves a paper trail behind. He's the cartographer. I love it. Is there like a funny answer for the, the favorite Disney princess question? I don't know. Maybe he's up here. Disney princess is another egg. No, um, hmm. I'm trying to like think of any of them. Like, I don't care about Snow White. That story's kind of lame. Oh. Okay, I'm back here again. Okay, well, there's more paper. Maybe he is this way. Okay, now I can hear him humming. What is that walking noise? God. Favorite car from Cars movie? Um, let me think. The last time I saw Cars was a long time ago. Uh, Mater is funny, but like I knew people in real life that were like that, so I wasn't a huge fan of that character. That was always um. My grandfather worked uh, at IBM, and so he would always say that about um, Sheldon, 
from what is what is that show called the big bang theory the, the big nerd character he was like i worked at ibm i worked with everyone was like that I, it's not funny um, but yeah mater is is a funny character i don't know are there other comic relief characters in that there's there's like the guy the really rusted out car that goes up to him and says like rusties and clearly rusties hasn't been doing much for that guy i don't know yeah i think this guy doesn't like uh mushrooms i don't remember he doesn't like it when it's damp i'm glad i can afford the map that's really good yeah, my favorite car is the weird rusted out one. God, I am so far away from my ghosts, man. I'm gonna have to pass through that entire area again. It's okay. I can see that over here I have something to do, and this path forward. I would like the tram pass too, but I think that's like way over here in Deep Nest. Uh, Hey, I guess I have to go back over to the right. Let's do it. <coughs> it's your favorite car from the Cars movie, is it the the cute Porsche with the tramp stamp? I've now said that on stream. Uh oh. It's gonna be a big backtrack to get back to where I died. I think I'm going. I can't open the map down here. Oh, there's a secret here. I got um, owned by the fake grub last stream. That was pretty funny. I I like forgot they were in the game. To be honest. God. Okay. Am I going the right way? Yes. There's a bench here I can sit on. Let's go do that. What's your least favorite car from cars that you have to paint? That's my question. I have no idea if that goes through the mic at all, or if it just comes out as like popping. I've been really disappointed with the audio quality. I, I was trying to um, get it better with plugins and stuff. And like this mic was kind of expensive and it I always sound like a little too loud or a little too quiet I don't know I'm probably just doing something wrong I don't think this is the way that I want to go is it no it's to the left oh yeah up here and there we go that's the way These enemies are tough. It's, it's kind of annoying, you have to like wait for all of it to wake back up. Oh, I can hit you through the wall. How do you like that? Oh no. You know what would be good for this area is, um, you can get an upgrade for your dash that makes you invulnerable during it. That would be really helpful here. The little one that changes tires, the Italian one. Yes, okay. His name is like Linguini, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Linguini, okay. I, for I forgot about Linguini. You'll have to forgive me. Doesn't he just go, oh, the tires, oh, the I love the tires, oh, the tires. He's great. Why did they put any other cars in the movie at all? I was just gonna say, I know that the ghost can dash down at me. Okay, I got my money back. How much was it? Oh. I could just sit here as long as I want, though. Oh, the yellow car is the one that's super Italian? And the little one? Either way, they're both great. 
this area is gonna be the death of me again. I don't want to die here again and then have to come back all this way. I might just camp these enemies out and I'm sitting here in this gap. At least to heal up a little bit. Oh, damn. Okay, well at least I, I got the map and I know my way back. I don't even know if this is an area I should be trying to go to. Wait, no, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Already. Yep, I am. It's up here? No, that's where I came in. Huh, I'm confused. I mean, look at the map. I want to go to the left. Huh, okay, yeah, that's where it is. Weird. And then, uh, more left in the... Okay, I got this. I can navigate, kind of. I literally just came through here. And I'm already lost. Hey, okay. just let that guy go that way, that's fine. Okay, just don't die again. Because I'll lose all my money if I die again. Oh, I'm gonna die again. This is such a long corridor. With no out. Shit. Yep, I'm fucked. Oh, there goes all my money. I don't have to come back this way if I don't want to. I don't think that's the path that I want to take here. So I just lost all my money, so whatever. I'll go this way the way to the right. I'll go back there when I have more um, damage. How many eggs am I going to find, though? I guess I could have used an egg to get my money back. I don't know. I, I don't really care that much, though. It's funny. If you don't know about the game, you, it probably doesn't make any sense what I'm saying. I think my mom wanted to watch Cars again, so... My favorite pasta shape? Um... I think it's a tie. Uh, I'm... very biased towards tortellini because it's filled with cheese. Which, um... And it's like good cheese, right? Tortellini is filled with like good cheese, usually it tastes very good. And it's made with like pesto a lot, which is just delicious. Where am I going? Down further, somehow. Um, but I also, if you're talking like non-cheese-filled pasta shapes, I really like bow ties as well. Um, but gnocchi is really good. Thank you for giving me things to talk about, I appreciate it. Um, you're also like, hmm, let me think of an Italian thing to ask him. It's funny. I guess I can still use an egg to get that like 200 uh, Geo that I had when I died. If I wanted to. Okay, I'm in that section of map that I didn't have revealed. Oh, that's acid. Okay. Maybe this is where I want to go. These guys suck. Oh, okay, I suck too. Even though I'm Canadian. I don't what was that accent? That was not right. That was like a really bad Jamaican accent. I don't know why that. Even though I'm, how would a Canadian person say Canadian? Canadian? I don't know. <clears throat> My accent is just like all over the place because Oh, they, they even put a little crystal there to tell you how to do it. I do like real maple syrup. I think that's just because I'm from the Northeast in the US. Well, not everyone there cared about it either. I don't know. You can probably blame my mom for that, as with most things. 
Nice. Uh, got full information on another enemy there. I am operating on reduced soul because I don't have... Or I haven't gone and got my ghost back. But that's fine. These enemies make such weird sounds. I think this is where the, the like, poison safety tier thing. He's missed here. I think this is where it is. I think I'm in the right place. Oh, look. There's our little guy. This little drawing of our face that's really cute. Oh, it's that's actually Dung Defender's head. And I have proven in combat, so we may go. So I did this area in the right order for once. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I don't know why there's like a palace guard here. Yeah, there's a bunch of like the city enemies. Huh. There's probably a reason. There it is. But I want to find whatever shortcut back to the city there is here. In this little area that we're in. Now, I'm, I'd be excited to reveal this with the map too. This is this weird entrance into the sewers. This is like... In... Yeah, okay. I forgot this was a thing. But I think this is going to come out in a door in the city somewhere. And there's like the singer bug, right? But I have to come this way first to unlock it. Is this not the singer? This isn't the singer. You're somebody else. Oh, you're the rich asshole. You say you no doubt sensed my affluence. All right, give me all your money then. Oh, you were cast out. Hmm. Let's see what you have to say. Wow, I get called Little Grub by you. You're an asshole. Okay, let's see where this puts us out, and then I can go and get the uh, tier. Right in the middle of the city. That's funny. She says I'm gonna die to the city guards. It's like, no, I haven't done that. No. <laughs> Shut up. Like, no, you're, you're the one who's gonna do that. Anyway, I, the city guards wouldn't attack her. She's a rich... F1. Oh. These guys suck. That scared me. Is this literally just there to scare you? There's like a little dead end with two explosive uh, bats in it. Bravo. Funny game design, Team Cherry. It's a cute name for a development studio. I wish they would release their new game already. It's gonna be really good. I'm gonna bother you about it so much when Silk Song comes out. Might even try to make you play it. Oh. This always means a thing is about to occur. Let's see. Does it combat? Sure. I haven't got the upward spell yet, and I would like it. Nice, that guy died fast. The upward spell does, like, the most damage, so I want to get that. And I know how to upgrade it, too, so... Somebody told me where the... Oh, the upgrade for the regular spell is in Soul Sanctum? I should go get that. Yzma. Hey, Yzma. Hey, we're in Yzma's Grove. I, I wish I could do the Patrick Warburton voice a little better. I am not good at it. It's funny, though. Yeah, okay, so we're going to get immunity to the acid right here. Beautiful. Consumed Yzma's tear.
which I wanted to get this before I do more exploration in Green Path, because there's uh, acid all over the place there, and I am dumb and I fall in it all the time. I think there's something to do down here, yeah. So let's swim back here. I love that they do such a nice job in this game of like, we just gave you an ability, now here's a use for it immediately. Where does this go? Oh man, I feel like there was more stuff to do back there. This just loops back around, huh? Yeah, there was more stuff I wanted to do in this big room. Oops. Yeah, I wanted to go to the left, too. So it looks like there's something under here. More like wet footstep sounds. I can push those enemies into the water. That is probably the easiest way to kill them. Oh, I've already been here. It's weird. Where am I? I don't have the map for any of this. Okay, I guess I'll go back out to the city. I know there's Fluke Marm and some other stuff in this area, but I don't want any of that. Only I could find the path back to. Shortcut. I think it is up here. This way. Yes. Is this right? I don't know. to see you again. Screw you, <clears throat> rich asshole lady. Okay. Where do I want to go? Decisions, decisions. Um, I did say that uh, the tear would help me in Green Path, so I guess we could go there. I do kind of want to upgrade spells, though. Maybe I will just look up where to get the, um, upward spell. Okay. No, I don't like fighting you at all. These guys are too tanky. Not tanky in the sense of, like, communist. <laughs> but it's funny. Um, sense of they just have too much damn health, man. We'll see a raid from this other streamer. Um, I tried to time my stream in a reasonable time for it, but we'll see. I feel like I just I do better when there's more people in here. There's more interaction. It like there's someone to riff on. So I appreciate your um, help giving me things to talk about. Give me the full map. Where is it? Nice. Okay, I can take this marker off. Let's see. Where else do I want to go? I think I can do the Colosseum now, but I might want to try to find more upgrades first. Done that. Yeah, let's, let's just go to Queen Station. There's stuff from there to do. Actually, I'm, I'm going to take a brief break here to get some more water. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Those nice ambient grunts in the background. Who would win in a fight, Daniel Radcliffe or Elijah Wood? I'm pretty sure if they were told that they had to fight, they would just make out. Um. So yeah, I, I think I can show off something that I mentioned in an earlier stream. There's this guy that's eating mushrooms, and you can, you can talk to them. Uh, eating their little treats. What an American. <laughs> and then if you um, read their mind with the dream nail, they, they say that we look tasty. I wonder, should I eat it? The others around here were awfully bland. Yeah, so this bug actually ate a bunch of the residents of this area. A lot of the bugs that look like this like to eat other named characters, which is pretty funny. Um, and we can jump up here now, and we can listen again. Mmm, delicious mushrooms. Can I dream nail you up here, too? Oh, same thing, huh? We get an item. It's just a, something I can sell. Okay, well, we'll move on. I have, I have a thing marked, but it's kind of a bit of a journey from here. Let's do it. I got the uh, double jump, so I can pretty much do whatever I want. I can go wherever I want. And we have uh, Yzma's tier, too. So if you look, you can actually see the acid gets pushed away and we're swimming in clean water. But it makes navigating in this area a whole lot easier. Let's see. Down. And then right. It's funny whenever I watch, like, speedrunners who just play this game, play this game, and they just, like, know where to go and they don't even use the map. I'm like, whoa. I have to use it constantly. I'm so bad. I'm trying to think of a question like the one that you had, but I, um... I can't think of the names of the people that I'm trying to say. Who would win in a fight, Kira Knightley or Kristen Stewart? That's my question for you. And... You can't use the same answer that I did. You can't just... <laughs> Although it probably as true, if not more so. I could get the upgrade for this spell. Oh damn. I forgot there's like a lingering hitbox there. Stinky ooze. Stinky mushroom ooze. Oh, I was trying to swing down. Damn. It really does stick around. Where? Vapid Bella? Vapid is really the correct word to use for Bella, huh? She's like, my favorite color is brown. Hmm. I'm sad. She's like Eeyore, actually. Um. You know, Winnie the Pooh? She's very much Eeyore. Oh, I'm sad. Why, I don't know. Yeah, I always thought she was a badass as a pirate, though, Kira. Just that character. Oh, I can't hit your head. I forgot. This guy's... Oh, I wonder if I could lead this explosive over to hit you. That would be funny. Big mushroom guy. Damn. Okay. Alright, let's not die. In the mushroom area, that would be a, <clears throat> a big shame. These explosive things are kind of rough to deal with. Uh-oh. Oh, very uh-oh. I died. Winnie the Pooh or Gummy Bear? I mean, Winnie the Pooh actually has cool characters and, and other, other stuff. There's the tiger that they named very questionably, which is a funny character, and... 
I always felt like Piglet. <clears throat> yeah, so I guess Winnie the Pooh. I don't, I don't care about Gummy Bear or what. Um... This is not the correct path, is it? I want to go this way. Let's see how many times I can travel through this mushroom zone and still have to check the map each time. Is this right? No. I want to go to the right. Who would win in a fight? Oh. Who would never win in any fight? He would get hungry and cry. Winnie the Pooh, the character himself, sucks. Um, but the story is fun. And I, I liked it when I was a kid. So definitely, Gummy Bear would be much, like, scarier in a fight. I imagine it would be like the slime cube from the D&D movie. Where, like, it would just consume him. And, like, um, Winnie the Pooh would be, like, floating inside the gummy bear. It's kind of gruesome. <laughs> it's such a weird... What, what is going on in my brain? I don't know. Where... where is my... Ghost, I can hear it. What did I die to? Oh, the explosive things. Oh, and I missed the shortcut, too, when I went through here the first time. Well, that's dumb. Found it this time. Not like the best shortcut in the world. These explosives are really hard to deal with. I did manage to get him to blow up, though. Okay, let's see if I can deal with these enemies somehow. Okay, now I can heal up. Damn, these... These things really suck in an enclosed space. Oh nice, he blew himself up. Okay. Well, I couldn't have hoped for... Paul McCartney versus Roger Waters now in a fight? Probably, I mean, I have no idea like what um, medical state either of those old me like British men are in, um, so I don't know. But they are old British men, so they're probably like very frail, uh, both of them. <laughs> I, I don't know. What did you think about my assessment on um, Winnie the Pooh? I think he's he, like absolute worst character in a fight ever. Like, I can't imagine a worse, like, you know those, um, things where you see a bunch of characters and it's like, you, you pick one to defend you against all the rest. It's like, if you ever pick Winnie the Pooh for that, then you're, um, you're an idiot. I don't know. Was there even anything here? More down? Is this the way I want to go? there a spot on the floor that I can fall through? Oh, okay, yes. That's not what I meant. I meant, like, can I use the descending dive or whatever the move is called? I remember this room now. I think this room has a bunch of acid in it, so I'm glad that I have the... Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have that at all. It has scary enemies that I don't want to fight. I don't know what just died and gave me 45 Geo, but that's pretty funny. Wow. Wow. Right? Yeah. I don't know. He'd either absorb who like the uh, cube from the D&D movie, or I guess just D&D in general, but I know you saw the movie. Um. Or just like, yeah, ravage Pooh. Like he would 
die in like the worst way. Like death by meth head, like Breaking Bad style with a vending machine crushing his head. Okay, I don't even care to take damage to kill that guy. Those explosion slingers suck. I don't know why I've, I've been pronouncing explosion weird, specifically on stream. Explosion. I think I've got like a weird internet accent. I don't know. I was thinking about it and I feel like my accent is all messed up because I spend too much time at home, like listening to other people online. And so I have like random generic internet accent because I listen to people from all over the world and I pick up like little bits of all of the accents. Because I, I actually try to avoid talking to people from where I live. Well, okay, I landed on a spiky mushroom. Don't do that. Still in uncharted territory, so that's cool. Hopefully there's there's good stuff here. And I'm not just exploring for no reason. Yeah, I guess I'll keep going down. Oh, this looks promising. Oh no, this actually is probably going to put me in deep mist. Oh, it's a mask shard. Sick. I think I can buy another one from Sly. But I am definitely in deep nest now. Shit. Okay. That is not where I thought that was going to put me. I don't think I want to go through this area right now, but I could. Hmm. I'm trying to think about what would be good progress. Good game progress. Screw it, let's just do Deep Nest. I'm here. You may not want to watch because this area has spiders in it. And, and all the creepy bugs are here. But um, you can listen just fine. The sounds are only kind of spooky compared to the visuals. I do like the music in this area, it's good. Enemies are annoying though. Just trying to go through Deep Nest quickly. Trying to go too fast in this game is always kind of a mistake though. I think this is the way to go? No it's not. There's nothing here. That's funny. Okay. I'm gonna go to the left somehow. Yeah, okay, I remember this. You have to go like all the way up and around if you want to go down to the left. Right? Yeah. This is the exit. I feel like these rooms are intentionally convoluted. Oh, I guess I could go down from here? I haven't done this yet. I think this is Nosk. There's a boss called Nosk. Uh, we first see a little version of our character. I guess we could do this. See a little tiny version of us running away from us. Um, and if you chase it, it becomes a big scary thing. So let's do it. I think that's here? Maybe not, I don't know. Yep, there he is. Hi, buddy. Probably missing some stuff going through this area. Ooh, I don't want to miss shortcuts, that's for sure, so. There you go. What is the point of this? It's just a little divot for no reason. I thought I would get more people in here. I thought there would be people watching Twitch um, on Thanksgiving. But I didn't bother any of my friends about it because it is Thanksgiving. Oh, that's just mean. <laughs> Game. They lure you into a false sense of security, so all the other times that you hear the floor break, you're just like, oh, it's that's just a new path that I can go down. And then that time it's like, haha, bitch, actually, 
Fuck you. That's just spikes. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way again. I'm very good at navigating. I'm glad I'm not doing like races with other players because I would be terrible at that stuff. But yep, that's where the just pit was. Okay, I think this is the way. Yeah, this feels right. Falling down a huge endless pit. Well, at least there's a bench here. Is this... Oh, I remember this. I think there's stuff this way that I want to do. I think this is just the tram. Is it all, actually? We're just exploring. This is actually definitely Nosk, isn't it? Oh yeah, I, I need the, um, I can't go here yet. I need the upgraded dash. Okay, well that's fine, at least I know. That's what I need to go here. Oh? Corpse of a Garpede. I think that just gives you... Oh, I'm being raided! Hey, thank you so much. I didn't even notice. I wasn't looking at chat, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I was I was watching your stream for a while before. Um, I hope Jump King went well. Um, I hope you got the stuff that you were looking for. Um, I think you did manage to do the thing where you chased the the bird. Got to set up some alerts. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I um, I think it can be kind of like annoying when there's like all kinds of crap on screen sometimes. But I definitely think like some minimalist stuff. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. That's very cool of you. You get to watch me, like, fumble around and not know how to navigate at all. But I made it over here. I, d I still don't have the tram pass, so maybe this was not the path to go. I know the tram pass is in this area, though. I think it's over to the left, much further. Okay. Yeah, that would be sweet. We should set that up sometime. Um, I would like to get this more professional. I still have, like, a terrible, like, zoomed-in picture of Waluigi as my, um, stream banner, because I just, I haven't, like, I've been more focused on streaming than actually, um, like, setting up all that stuff, you know. Oh, this is this room. Okay, I think there's something worth doing in this room. I, I like all the little platforming challenges that they give you in this game. It's a very fun, um... Yeah, this is not the first playthrough that's correct. Oops. Does it put me all the way back at the start every time I fail that? I think I get my double jump back every time, you know, I pogo, so this should not be very hard. Just have to be patient. Oops. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Uh, for Jump King you're talking about? I wonder if that enemy's just gonna spawn every time. Okay, let's see if I can actually do this the right way. Nope. Oh, man. You guys are just watching me be bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Oh, thanks for the follow, whoever followed me too, I appreciate it. Oh. Dude, okay. It is always funny to see, like, what, um... What achievements are more rare. Um, I think for a while, 
like there were a lot of people um, that got like really far into the game in Elden Ring that hadn't beaten Margit. That spike hitbox is gonna... Dude! <laughs> I can do it! Alright. I'm gonna give this one more solid attempt and if I get hit again... Alright, we will just not do this anymore. I know I, I have done this before, so I know I can do it. Okay, I don't trust that spike hitbox at all. I almost got hit again. There's one more super slow Garpy just to mess with you. Oh no, I, do I have to ride it up? Oh, thank god. There's this soul thing here. People like making sounds and visuals play on screen. That makes sense. I, I should set that up. I, I guess I'll go and do, do that um, after this stream. I've So what I've been trying to do in the meantime... Um, shit. Can I get any more soul from this thing? No. What I've been trying to do in the meantime is... I think I can... Hmm. Yeah, 2 to 50. Yeah, you're really close, man. Uh, when I followed you, you were at like 44. I was number 45. And then I looked um, again like two days later and you were at like 48, 47. So that's great. Um, I hope you um, I hope you can get that affiliate set up and going. That's awesome, man. And I really appreciate the raid. It's very helpful. Um, yeah, I'll get the alerts set up. I, what I was saying is I've been focusing on... Um, doing, uh, editing short clips and stuff, and uploading them on TikTok and Instagram and stuff. Oh yeah, you've got a Discord going? That's, that's cool. Um, and hopefully, like, if I can get those, like, sh short clip videos, um... together, uh, then I can, um, drive more viewership to the stream. That is the goal, at least. And I'm getting, like... Oh, sweet, okay. Yeah, um... I mean, I'm uploading them to YouTube and stuff, too. Um, and it's fun. Like, I, I, I enjoy editing, so... Um, I'm getting, like, a couple thousand views, um, on some of them already, so... It's just not really translating to additional subscribers yet. Which is, um, something that I was kind of concerned about, but I, I know eventually once I can get a community going, like, a little bit, people will take clips during the stream, um, and that can help as well. I think this is... Are you a fake grub? I don't trust you. That was a real grub? This is- this was just a grub. Okay, that's fine. Is this another breakable wall? Yeah! It's a double secret. Oh, this is... This is actually the Nosk fight, huh? Let's do it. Yeah, but I had like a, uh, two or three years worth of like TF2 clips saved up on my computer, um... That I was, um... That I have like a backlog of, and a lot of them are really funny. So I've been uploading those. Let's fight Nosk. I'm excited. Although, where, where's the path? Is this just this way? Yeah. I'm so bad at navigation in these games. He's running away. Is this a shortcut? Yes. Nice. YouTube is better. 100 TikToks in total. Oh, jeez, that sucks. Um, well, I guess, what do you find actually works? I don't know how many, um, oops. Yeah, I'm gonna get locked in here. I guess we'll just go fight Nosk. Um, <clears throat> if that doesn't work, what has been successful for you? Like alerts and raids and stuff, probably, huh? 
Well, I'll try to get that going. For now, I'm just trying to play as many games as I can. Have fun on stream. Nothing has been successful. I, I know that feeling, man. Well, I hope you the best of luck, and I'll um, give you a follow after the stream as well. Now I want to actually try to focus on fighting this boss. It can be a little troublesome. Yeah, this boss can be really troublesome. Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit me. Okay, if I go on this ledge, I can probably heal up a little bit. Actually, try to jump over the boss here. You going, dude? I know there's like a flying version of this boss in the pantheons as well. Been doing YouTube for 13 years, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, I've only been doing this for a little while, so um. It's, it's one of those things that, like, there's so much luck that goes along with it. Like, a lot of it is work, but also a lot of it is just luck, you know? I'm trying to read all the stuff you're typing in chat, but I'm also fighting Nosk right now, so... I will try not to die, primarily, and then I will try to read stuff in chat after. I should be using my spells more. Oh, you bastard. If I just stand still, I think eventually you'll drop down. There we go. Oh god, that's really hard to dodge. Heal up one more. And you'll go over me and I'll go back this way. Okay. Right, Nosk, you won't defeat me. I might be fighting you for a long time. I should probably look up where the nail upgrades are. I got trapped in the corner there. Don't do this again. Yeah, there is a safe spot, but it only works in, like, one direction. Oh man, I need to focus. Okay. Very narrowly avoided getting hit by that there. It, like, disappeared just before it was gonna hit me. I'm not, like, doing a very good job of hitting the boss, am I? I feel like the slime comes down faster closer to the end of the fight you are there, though. It is doing this move a lot. Come on, Nosk. Oh god. Okay, I'm getting desperate now. Okay. Stop doing this move. My nail is, does not do a lot of damage, but I actually have to hit the boss for that to matter. Okay, one more heal. Am I supposed to jump here? Okay, I will try not to just die here, but... On one HP, damn! Okay. Oh, let me scroll back and... Need some of... All those chat messages, huh? Yeah, I died to, um... My first death was to Mantis Lords on this playthrough. And so I don't feel too bad about that. Mantis Lords can be kind of tough. Oh, I should grab some soul before I head out. I bet you I can do Nosk though. I just gotta, like, pay attention and learn the patterns. 
Thanks for hopping back in here. I appreciate it. Feels good to be playing Hollow Knight again. This game is really fun. Um, I just I I was playing a lot of like older games that are like buggy and don't work so well and crash a lot, but it's really nice to um. It's really nice to play a game that just like functions really well. I don't know. Oh yeah, five year anniversary is coming up. That's awesome. I should have paid some attention before going right to the boss room, huh? I'm like literally reading chat. Okay, I can do it though. This boss is just so fast, man. It's like I don't, I don't get many opportunities to keep hitting it. There we go. I hit you with a spell. I hit you with two spells. See, that's the problem though. I use my spells and then it's like I have no more soul to heal now. Ooh. Where are you going, Nosk? I love the background for this fight too. It looks so cool with all the other knights and stuff in the background. Don't hit me, thank you. Yeah, the, the combat in this game is amazing. Um, I'm looking forward to playing... Um, I mean, like, I'll play all the Dark Souls games on stream. Oh god. Uh, eventually. Um, I'm really looking forward to the um, Elden Ring DLC. Of course, in the same vein. Um, Lies of P came out pretty recently, and there's like a lot of people watching that game. Uh, so I want to do that uh, as soon as I'm done with Hollow Knight. I, I got that on sale on Steam. Um, and I got a game called Wizard of Legend uh, on sale as well. That also looks uh, really fun. And I have a whole bunch of like Lego games and stuff uh, for like... Um, I want to... I have an idea for like... Oh, you know like Wheel of Fortune style big wheel that spins? Um, well if you've played this you've played a Souls like because this game draws pretty huge inspiration from Dark Souls. Um, I'm actually doing better now that I'm, like, talking <laughs> through the fight. Um, these little safe spots that they give you are really nice. Um, but yeah, I've, I've played some really hard games like Sekiro um, and stuff like that off stream. But I don't know how easy it'll be to stream that game because it requires a whole lot of focus. I don't know, I feel like the some of the most... Um, yeah, this the the whole bench system and getting your ghost back and stuff is like straight out of Dark Souls, literally. Um, like the bench is just a bonfire. Um, oh no, I knew I was getting hit there. Okay, just heal up. You're gonna jump, that's fine. Oh yeah, sorry, it's just... It's, um... Something that a lot of people point out, I guess, in discourse about this game, is that it's, um... One of, one of the best Souls likes. Actually, funny, I saw on Reddit not too long ago, um... Hollow Knight has a better rating as, like, a Souls like than, uh, Dark Souls. The, the highest rated souls like is Hollow Knight, actually. And, and then the next highest rated is Dark Souls 3. Which is so funny. Um, Steam is funny like that, isn't it? This is a bad heal. Yep. You gotta just commit to it at that point, though, because otherwise you'll take, like, two damage worth. You'll lose the soul and the, um, the damage that you take. I bet you I can beat this boss on this try. It's just gonna take a while. Aha, you landed above me. I knew that was gonna happen. Why did you jump up again, though? Well, that was weird. There were like two globs in the same spot. Okay, now I can heal over here. Stop jumping up, Nosk. Do anything else. Oh, 
Oh man. Yeah, and just also, um, another hallmark of the Souls-like genre is, like, the really depressing NPC stories. Um, and this game nails that, I'll tell you what. Man, I just can't keep my health up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The Metroidvania aspects, and, like, all of the... I was talking about the all of the um, shortcuts and stuff in this game that, like, loop back around. And the only game that I know of that does it better than this one is Dark Souls 1. Um, which I was saying, um, I actually first played that game on the Nintendo Switch, which is, like, so cursed. Because you'd think it would use, like, the Switch controller layout, but it, it doesn't. It actually uses, um... Oh god, Nosk, stop jumping! This- I, I swear, I've been fighting this boss for like 10 minutes. Um... God, I don't even know what I was saying anymore. I'm just trying to- oh. <laughs> It just immediately comes down and then jumps again. Again? Is this like some scripted thing at the end of the fight that I don't remember? You suck, Nosk. Maybe it is, since he did it like four times in a row. Do I just have the worst luck? What? Oh my god, he loves the ceiling. I can't blame him. I can't hit him from up there. If I was Nosk, I would want to do that too. Okay, please tell me I get a chance to heal here. I really don't want to throw this. This is taking me so long. If I fail this attempt, I don't know if we're going to come back and fight him again. I remembered, um... Oh my god. I guess? It's just the hardest attack to, like, get damage in. I guess I can get one good hit in every time? If I'm, like, careful and do it right? I hope I don't get hit here. Yep, okay. Well, I'm fine, I'll stay on one health. <laughs> oh, I knew that was it. I have one nail upgrade. It's definitely time for some more. I don't remember where the, uh... I don't remember where the Pelor is, though, is the problem. If, if anyone does remember, I don't really feel like looking it up. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll, I'll give it, you know what, I'll give it one more attempt. Um, and then three solid attempts at, at Nosk with one um, nail upgrade. Oh, of course this one after Nosk, of course. How many? I think it only takes one um, for the first upgrade, right? I bet you there's an easier one to get. I could go do the Colosseum now, because I'm quite sure I have the um, all the stuff that you need to get to that. Is this the right path? I think so. Um, and I bet you the Colosseum is easier than Nosk. Yeah, Nosk starts off the fight being a bastard, doesn't he? You know what I should be doing is using this downward dive move more. Okay. Really bad start to this fight. Let's see if I can recover a little bit. Probably gonna be quiet and actually focus up here. Oh man. That was just a bad decision. Okay, Nosk. Oh, I don't know how my nail didn't connect there. That was weird. So much of the fights in this game is like getting used to the jump distance and stuff that the boss does. There we go, I'm actually do dodging that right now. I just have to, like, focus. Okay, I did that wrong, but... Alright, Nosk. Come on. I didn't think you were gonna jump again. He just really loves the ceiling.
you know, always hit him uh, there when, when he goes over you. I bet you I could hit him twice. I should also look for Quick Slash, because that was... I remember my favorite charm in my first playthrough. Quick Slash and, um... Mark of Pride, which is the one that I have on now. Just beating me up, Nosk. Oh, I was gonna try to go for two hits there. Maybe that was a little greedy. Back on the ceiling, huh? Yeah, if you want to look where Quick, quick Slash is, I would appreciate the help. Oh, I thought I could dash under that in time. I could not. Quick Slash might be one of those that, like, is sold from a merchant or something. Like, I need to get this the key to Sly's, like, basement. I feel like I must be getting kind of close. I don't know. This, this is so, like such a long boss fight if you don't have that many upgrades. The first boss you died to was Lost Kin? I mean, that's insane. You're much, much better of a gamer than me. Because I think I died to the False Knight my first time playing this game. But I remember I was like pretty messed up. I was like kind of drunk that night. Still. That's pretty funny. Come on, Nosk. Oh, okay. Gotta focus a little longer, and I will defeat this boss. Man, I don't know if I suck at dodging or what, but... That attack messes me up. In Kingdom's Edge, huh? Okay, well, that's a good place to go for nail upgrades, too considering the Colosseum is there. Oh man, it gets so fast. The slurm. Oh, you're faking me out. The Watcher Knights were messing me up too, last stream. How they fake you out, they like start rolling and then stop again. heal here. Nice. Nosk. We'll defeat you. Just sticks around for just long enough, huh? There we go. Oh, not actually a hard boss, just so much health. <laughs> like, I know I got hit a lot, but I like how you can hit the head around. It's a nice little... Oh. Boon for fighting the annoying boss that is Nosk. But I think we get a nail upgrade out of this, and I guess that's our, um... Yeah, first try, right? But that was three tries, so, I mean, I'm not that upset. There were three very long tries. Pale Ore is nice. Ancient Nailsmith. Yeah, so I guess that's not a bad idea. Go for that. I should probably... It, it is one Pale Ore for the first upgrade, right? I should probably go and do that now. And then Colosseum is not a bad a place to go from here. Although we are in Deep Nest already. So, like... I should probably go for the Tram Pass while I'm here, right? That seems like that would be intelligent. 
Are you the enemies that, like... Does your corpse turn into another enemy again? I don't know. I will go and heal up, though. At this bench. And then I think the tram pass... is up into the left. Deep Nest is one of the easiest areas for me to get lost in in this game too, just in general. I remember it a little bit. God, it is a creepy zone though. Are you guys the ones that are going to turn into, like, spiders? Yes. Oh, they're creepy. Small moths. I'm where all the parrot pillar is. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Back up. Oh, the top of Crystal Peak? Okay, yeah, I know that one's there. I could go get that, too. I could get, like, probably two or three nail... Oh, th three is the last one, isn't it? I could probably get two nail upgrades now if I wanted to. Because I know you get one from the Coliseum. I don't remember which trial it is, though. Oh. Oh, I remember this boss being, like, unnecessarily hard. I'll give it a shot. I remember you being tough, though. Yeah, this one you have like no time to heal, so. Just a damage race. Not talking because this is hard. Oh. Wow, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, I remember just having too much trouble with that boss for no reason the first time. <laughs> I am strong, am I not? He's questioning himself. Poor guy. Okay. Well, give me your essence. Trial of the Conqueror? That's the f the second one, right? That's the one that ends with the ablabbles, I think. That's actually kind of hard, if I remember correctly. Um... It's always nice to have some lifeblood hearts. Don't know what else there is to do here. I think I do we just want to go back the other way. One Pelor from the Seer, right, that makes sense. For like, probably a thousand essence or something. I think I'm going roughly the right way. <laughs> Always thrown by how high the jump is. You really do kind of rocket yourself into the air. Yep, okay, cool. I'm close to the tram pass. That's good. These guys give so much geo, too. I remember that. No, you're... Yeah, the tram pass is over here. Very nice.
feels good to get this. Um, I remember I was looking around for this. Oh, 300? I can get it now. Damn, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have a bunch of nail upgrades soon. And the tram really opens stuff up for us, too. Nice. This game is fun, man. It just, it feels good. Yeah, I used to farm these guys for Geo, because it was a little easier than, um, the guys in the city. But each of these, I think, will spit out five. I don't want to give them the opportunity, though, this time through. Oh, damn. You just evaded my spells. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oops. One more. Okay, there we go. Probably, I don't know if I'm going to fight Radiance on stream, though. That's the one thing that I don't know if I will do. I, I had a lot of trouble with Radiance my first playthrough, and I don't know if it's just I'm bad or what. I guess I should um, give it the full go. That boss is really hard. Uh, let's see, now that I've got the tram pass, I think I'm pretty close to a bench, right? Yeah. If I can find my way there is the question. Radiant Oh no. Yeah, I'm very bad at that fight too. Yeah, I remember it being hard to get to the bench. I was like, I know I'm close to a bench, but it's like kind of hard to get to. You haven't beaten Radiance? It's kind of an asshole. Um, and I mean, I I let Zote die, so that makes Pantheon 3 easier. So maybe I'll I'd be down to attempt that uh, for sure. Oh god. Yeah, I don't even feel like I need to get that Geo. Where is the exit that I'm looking for? I guess down further? <laughs> How many times am I going to get hit by this spikes? Deep Nest is just like a hostile area. I'm telling you. Is this the way? No, I'm way too far down now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't care about that Geo. You can hang out there. I don't want to die foolishly. Oh. Hmm. Somehow there's a path on the right. It's not that. Maybe it's up further. No, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, the, the using a notch for the compass is a little annoying. Um, it does, I guess, if I'm being super charitable, I could say that it um, encourages you to learn the map layout. But if you're just playing this game through casually, I don't know why you would do that. Do I have to like come through this area the other direction to have act? I think I do. I think that's why I can't get to that bench. I guess I'll go back down. I mean, hell, I'm, I'm this far in Deep Nest. I guess I could go to... Uh, visit the... Um, spider boss. Oh, these enemies suck, though. There's no, it's not spider boss, just the dreamer. Come on. There we go. That's usually the best option with that. But yeah, through this spider area, there's the Dreamer, and then I don't have to come back to Deep Nest. Maybe that's the the play here. I feel like I have I have time to keep streaming, so. Oh, the weavers are annoying though. 
If the, I wish there was an, an easier tram station down here. Yeah, the, the map isn't exact. That is kind of annoying, isn't it? I Part of me likes the part where like your map doesn't update until you rest at a bench, and then part of me is like, well, makes exploring like new terrain really annoying. Come on. Oh no. Had to deal with these enemies a lot, so I have a pretty good idea of how to do it. There we go. There wasn't even anything here. Oh no, that sounds good. Ooh, this is like the Weaver's Lair, right? The Weaver's Den. It was close. <laughs> You're funny. You have something to say with the dream now? Hera. Just the name of the uh, Beast Queen, I guess, huh? This area very much uh, makes me excited for Silk Song. Hopefully that comes out soon. Um, but who really knows? Yeah, this game is really close to, to one of the best. Um, Oops, didn't mean to go back in that door. Uh, I, I still think Bloodborne and Elden Ring are a little higher up for me. Oh, there's another one. Come on. die. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I had to focus up real quick. I'm doing okay progressing through Deep Mist, but could just die suddenly and be very far away from my 1500 Geo. Oh, those bastard bits of floor. Oh, and of course there's a, um, a route to get. I'm glad I actually have the Dream Nail this time. The first couple times we saw these, I didn't have the dream now. Oh no. These enemies are pretty creepy. I, I'm not the most arachnophobic person in general, but they do still spook me a little bit. Why is there like a heartbeat sound? Oh, that's why. Little egg monsters always make that noise. Yeah, like when you um when you're just walking along normally and all of a sudden um the game decides that um oh god. The game decides that you're suddenly gonna like slide along the floor. That's I'm not talking about Hollow Knight, by the way, I'm talking about um Dark Souls. Um, all three Dark Souls games are guilty of that, and Bloodborne too. Can beat this enemy. I can do it. The end game? Yeah, what the hell is the, the final Pantheon is crazy. And I never even beat Radiance at all. Come on, you gotta die soon, right? There we go. <laughs> yeah, like, the 30-minute Pantheon. If you play well, it takes you 30 minutes to get back to the hard part. Like, I don't- that's- why? Yeah, no, I never beat Radiance. I gave it a good try. I, I think Nightmare King Grim is, like, a fantastic challenge. But the Radiance is just too much. I don't know. I'll try it um, on stream this time. But I don't remember what the requirements are to fight Radiance. There's 
it's like um I know you you have to do more game completion stuff than just to fight the Hollow Knight, which of course makes sense. I wonder how many more of these essence I have to collect, at least a few. I just get hit to that weaver a couple times. Yeah, you have to have a lot of percent. I don't remember exactly what the criterion are. Grub. Is it is it locked to grubs? That would be funny if it was. I didn't hear the audio for having got all the essence, and I still see things in the air, so I must have missed some somewhere. Where is it? These weavers keep respawning. Didn't see where I missed the essence from, so I'll go back up. I think it's probably up there. Or over here? No. Sorry if it's frustrating watching me navigate. Oh, here we go. That's the right way. Jimmy just completely failed to navigate. We're pretty close to the dreamer, though. I think. I don't know where the path to free that grub is, though. <laughs> Classic dad joke, nice. Uh, I was saying the first stream of this game, too, that the like controls feel really weird the first time you play this game, but then they get... um. Like, the more you get used to it, you're like, oh, this is actually great. Oh man, there's another one of you. Just have all my spells. Okay, I managed to kill that one pretty quickly this time. And that's all the essence. Very nice. There's the grub. Oh, and I got, I got an achievement. Sweet. The controls feel really good, right? I like it. Um, but they, they were weird to get used to. You know what other game I feel like- oh, that was strange. I feel that way about Celeste as well. I think this is the way I want to go. This feels right. I just missed the second one, huh? Wow. The controls are good until I start getting hit, and then it's all the game's fault. Actually, that's not me. I think I can hit you through the wall. Yep. Nice. I will cheese enemies all day. Oh, very narrowly avoided taking damage to that spike. You did not have that feeling for Celeste? Yeah, just like the wall climb feels really strange. I don't know, and, and like I, I played through almost all of Celeste. I have not beat Farewell, although I, I did most of Farewell. I would love to know a game that has amazing controls. Ugh. This, this broken floors always get to me. Let's see if I can activate the stag station. That's a good idea. There's some cool NPCs in this area too. I love how the elevator is, like, downed. Yes, I would like the stag, please. Be farewell on stream. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats, man. It seems like you're pretty good at those, um, challenging games like that. I don't think I actually want to go anywhere. Let's, let's just do the dreamer. Let's do it. It's just like a little, um, platforming thing, I think, right? I don't remember. Uh, but I think it's in the big main orb here. I don't think this is anything. Not friends. Yeah, all of this stuff is just warning you not to listen to the, the little bugs. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, that's how it feels in, like, uh, Sekiro. Like, it, it almost never feels unfair, which is really cool. You think these guys are, um, honest, though? Sit and rest, huh? I think I should do that. And then I, I wonder what they say if you dream nail them. Oh, they just laugh at you? No, I think that was just the pizzicato, um... Strings that I thought was laughter. Well, I'll, I'll sit down. It's fine. Oh, I actually have to try to move to trigger the cutscene. That's pretty funny. The sound effects are kind of brutal. We're stuck. There we go. I was pressing the jump button over and over. It wasn't doing anything. You actually have to use the nail. I think I defeated most of the big scary enemies that I have to fight. Oh, I said that. I don't think I have to fight you, though. I'm going to choose not to. funny, I, I had my girlfriend in the stream listening for a while, and then I said that this was an area with lots of spiders in it, and then I see that they're not here anymore, and that, that's pretty funny. Because they, in particular, do not like spiders. I do have to, I do have to fight you, you suck. Can I hit you through the floor? I don't think so. Heal one way from death. Hmm. Flashing with them is not really reliable. I shouldn't try to do that. Come on. Just enough for one heal. Okay. Hopefully, I don't die to this enemy. I think if you die here. Damn, I, I think it's just going to spawn me right here. So I don't even care. Yeah. Whatever. That's fine. Can use these guys to get a little bit of soul. The longer nail could help, I guess. Oh, I just didn't. Can I just go through you? No, I can't. Okay, I will do this eventually. I, I guess I don't have a choice, huh? It just spawns you right here. I think this is the path that I have to go to, isn't it? Probably would have been smart to cash in on these nail upgrades that I have ca uh, cashed. Is it? Oh no, I don't even have to go that way. It's this way, huh? No, this is nothing. Okay. What happened? Just me dying to this big enemy? Pretty much nothing. Just playing the game. I don't know um, if either of you are from uh, anywhere where it's a holiday today, but um, for me it's Thanksgiving. And this has never been a holiday I like too much. It's kind of like a monument to the bad things that my country's done. But it is nice to be around family, and I figured it would probably be a pretty good day to stream. I haven't played that game personally, but, um... Oh, is the path that I'm supposed to go down? It's literally down here. That would be funny. No. I think I do have to go through this big, scary enemy. I fought all the other ones just fine. Now I'm, I'm just being impatient. I guess this is kind of a particularly hard spot to fight them.
There we go. Okay, I had to be quiet for a second, but we did it. Enemy down. I remember expecting a big, like, really hard boss fight when I came through this area. Is this just a shortcut? Yeah, it is. Nice. So you don't have to fight the big enemy again if you want to come through here again. I remember getting lost in here. Ooh, that was a slick dodge. There we go. Actually starting to play the game a little better. I hear a grub. Is there a grub in here somewhere? Yes. Are you fake? I don't trust you. You went through all of Deep Nest without the lantern? Why? Oh, that's gross. I just, I don't think I would be able to do that. I know that people do like challenge runs and stuff like that, and you can memorize it, but... Oh, I don't have to fight you, I'm not gonna... <laughs> oh, what's down here? Just more shortcut, or... There's more Geo, sure. Okay, another one. The nail upgrades would have helped with this a lot. Come on. There we go. Okay. Is this where I want to be? I remember this being a thing. Hmm. This room looks like it's a room where you're supposed to do something. Huh. Yeah, wait until they open the mouth and then attack. That sounds right. There's actually a bench. I wonder if that's just a weird room above me. I don't know. Makes you wonder what was uh, wearing these guys' skin. I wonder if- I think it is the Weavers, right? I don't know. But that wasn't uh, the, the Dreamer itself. Where's the Dreamer? I thought that was the right way. I've already been in here, but there was nothing here, right? Hmm, I'm confused. Oops, well I didn't mean to fall all the way down. fine, I guess. There's like a really weird, creepy NPC here, right? The one who tries to bite you. Yep, I bet you it's you. Yeah, you suck. Oh, I hit you and now you just left? That's funny. I, I bet if I leave the room and I come back... Let's see. Some, the Dreamer is somewhere for sure. Yeah, I agree. Um, I mean, I have the stag station, so I guess I can just leave. Yeah, you. Eventually you're going to try to bite me, right? Can I Dream Nail you? Okay, well, not really. I guess, no, I can't dream now. And then this just loops back around somewhere. I guess the dreamer is probably where the little icon is on the map. Oh, I got past you, yes. Any of those enemies that I don't have to fight is very good. and I can heal back up. Uh, thanks for, for coming and hanging out for so long after your stream, though. I really appreciate it. It's very kind. 
I would like to get, um, you know, more viewership on, on here and do this Twitch thing, but it's, um, you know, a pretty saturated market, so I'm just happy to be doing it. It's cozy here. That's, that's good to hear. Thanks, man. I, I, I keep having little audio gremlins, like my, uh, voice audio levels and stuff are wrong. God, I'm just gonna keep getting hit there. And it puts you back just far enough to forget that the spikes were there. Where are you, Dreamer? I, I feel like if I go through here one more time... It's gonna be where the icon is on the map. Hmm. Is it just right here? I guess? I, I think this is just the stag station, right? Yeah. Huh, I'll go back in there. Maybe, maybe it is in here, I don't know. Is there something that you have to do first, before this becomes active? Um... I've done most of Deep Nest. I think there's like one or two more rooms that I haven't accessed. The one I can't until I get Shade Cloak. Um... Okay, well I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but... I did kind of want to do this while I was here. Okay, well, screw you. I'm going somewhere else. I'm done with Deep Nest for now. Made a lot of progress down here. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. Um, I don't know, I, um... The... The streamers that I really like, who, um, oh, right, I, I want to go back up to the stag station. The streamers that I like most kind of just are joking around most of the time and having a good time. Real big fan of Jerma. Um, obviously, I mean, everyone's a fan of Jerma, right? There's the, the Schmilvaris from, from back in the day. There was a, the Germavaris. Um, but yeah, um, okay, I, I actually need to decide where I want to go. I think I, if I can get a pale ore from the seer, I want to go to the resting grounds. Um, and then there's stuff to do. Yeah, Jerma's amazing, dude. Um, I, if, if I can make my stream feel like Jerma, that's, um, that's my goal, essentially, right? Um, Jerma's amazing. Um, and I, I don't even know all of the inside jokes. There's like too many, but um, big fan of Greyfruit too. Uh, when, whenever I'm playing Isaac, I feel like I'm just trying to channel Greyfruit. Um, let me see who else. I don't know. I watch some of the really big streamers occasionally just to do it, but um, yeah, German. He's just. He's like the patron saint. Yeah, grapefruit too. They're just great. I don't know. Nice. So this is the um, Kickstarter door. Sure, open the door. Yeah, very close taste. That's awesome. Uh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad to have you here. Thanks for for finding my stream. This is an ore, right? Very nice. Okay. I, I like Vinny. I'm I'm not like a, a diehard Vinny watcher, but um, there are a couple of his videos that are kind of like classics for me that I go back to a lot. Um, the dude the, the besiege video. Um, <laughs> I mean, not everyone can be Germa, you know. But yeah, Vinny has a besiege video where he um he makes like a rat cage. Um and um it's just a giant cart full of like 
razor blades that he just drives around and releases. It's very funny. Uh, oh man, the nailsmith is kind of far from any of the fast travel stations, isn't it? Um, I guess we'll go to the other city of tears. Uh, city storerooms. I guess the one exception, I, I said I don't really like a lot of the, the big, big streamers. I guess other than Jerma, the big exception is Hassan. Um, I don't know, he's just, he's good. Um, a little too much yelling sometimes. I have to like turn it off because there's too much yelling, but still it's, it's good to have on in the background. I don't know, it's, it's really crazy when you like the difference between like hanging out in a chat with not that many people in there even like hanging out in grapefruit's chat like chat moves pretty slow so there's like a decent chance that he's gonna like see my messages or whatever right but like you go somebody's got twenty five thousand viewers what you write in chat it just zooms by at 10 million miles so like they might catch it but probably not Yeah, I don't know. It's it's like um I just like like funny variety streamer kind of people play a lot of games. And that's kinda of what just what I want to do. Like in, in watching Germa or Grapefruit, I'm like, I feel like I have a little bit of that like silly dumbass personality thing. And I want that to just kinda of shine on stream, I don't know. Yeah, right? That's pretty crazy. Um, so Lumeri, you you just, um, I'm probably saying your name wrong. I, I You said something about it in chat last time. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but, um, what was I saying? I, me I said your name and then I like forgot why I, I mentioned your name. Actual, just like completely brain rot streamer. That's fine. Oh, I was going to say, you said you just started. Right? Like a month ago? It's around when I started too, so... I feel like I'm so late to this, like I could have been doing this years ago, and I, I wasn't. Like I... Like, oh what could have been if, if like, during COVID, I had thought to stream... Um, but I, I guess I didn't have like my setup and everything, and... Uh, I've, I'm started now though, so let's, let's get these... Bloomery? Oh, so it's like Bloomery. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, Ranjo Stinja. Ranjo Stinja. The, the names are so, they're just everything is so good. I hope I have enough to do Jonesha. these upgrades. I think I might need two Pale Ore for the next upgrade, and I might not have it. But we can go to the Coliseum after this in search of more Pale Ore. I think there's, what, like two more levels after this? Yeah, the channeled nail. And then, let me see. Mm, two pieces of pale ore. And I only have one. Yeah, I, I always do that. Yeah, I have one. So I can go and do two coliseums. Yeah, I... I feel like that's the case. I don't know, I um I was kind of struggling to figure out like a, a name to use, and I, the name that I picked is like a little corny, but um I wanted it to be based on like words that people might know from other stuff. Um and like there's a little Easter egg in there, uh that I don't man mind. Yeah, I did get the pillar from the seer. Um I don't mind telling you guys, uh, because you're some of the first people here for the stream, but um the name is Annihilated One because my first name in real life is Nile. So it's it's kind of like there's an Easter egg in there, it's got my real name in it. Kind of. <laughs> um, which I don't know, maybe that's dumb, but 
What am I trying to do? I want to go to the Colosseum, so we're just going to go to the right. The Crystal Dash makes it pretty easy to get through this area. Oh, it's also, like, in the same way that it's, like, related to a name for you, or... Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I've i heard, like, a lot of similar stories like that. Um, if you've heard of, like, Post Malone, like, the, um, what do you call him, like, a rapper, I guess? Um, he, uh... He put, like, his name is Austin Post, and he put it into a, um, like, rap name generator, and that was what came out of it, so. Let's see how long it takes to kill these guys now, that, that I've upgraded my nail once. Probably still way too long. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, we've got... Got a lot in common, huh? Similar, um, taste in games, and- oh god, yeah, I'm not fighting any more of you, though. Sorry. Sorry, big guy. Yeah, I- I didn't really have, like, a... a consistent username across all of my accounts. I- I played a lot of Overwatch back when it came out in, like, 2016. God, I- I was pretty good at Overwatch, too. I liked that game a lot. I didn't like the toxicity. That, that came from that game, but I, I was a big TF2 guy before Overwatch came out, so it was like naturally very, um... I was like very inclined towards that game. And, um... My username for a while was, um, Krunkrat. So like Junkrat, but Krunk. <laughs> yeah, TF2's goaded, right? I've, I've been streaming uh, TF2 here and there as well. Um... So, um... If you want to stick around for uh, those streams. I streamed some TF2 last night. I had a funny moment. Um, I was playing Pyro. And another Pyro came at me with the Dragon's Fury. And I just reflected both of his Dragon's Fury projectiles. And it's like, nope. <laughs> you don't get to... You don't get to shoot at me. So I think I needed Yzma's Tear to get through this area. Like, to go through here to the right. I think you need Yzma's Tear. Favorite class. It's so hard to choose. I love Spy. I love Sniper. Uh, the Soldier is so much fun. Demo is great. I mean, Medic is really important to the game. I main Scout for a long time. Yeah, you know, I, um... What's really funny is... I... I was, like, super into Portal as a little kid. Um, and so I played Portal... God, these Primal Aspids suck. I hate you, die. Um... So I played Portal, and so I was like a little used to the Source engine, and so when a friend was like, Hey man, you gotta check out this free game called TF2, and I was like 12, and I was like, you know what? Any game that is free, that has this much content, I am interested in. Yeah, okay, I think this is a thing that I want to do over here on the right. Um... Oh, this is that weird NPC, right? I forgot there's like the, the giant worm over here. Oh, you speedrun portal? That's awesome. Toady Bash? I don't remember where the like... It's not called Abyssal Shriek, that's like the upgrade, but the like Shriek spell, I can't remember for the life of me where it is. Is it in this zone? I feel like it might be. I could get the King's Brand while I'm over here too, right? That's like progress towards, um, final bosses, I guess. Where does this lead? I love these little hopping guys, they're so cool. They're very cute. Uh, the enemy variety in this game is just so good. Oh, well, that was dumb. I guess I should have expected that to happen, huh? Three D turn based fighting game, huh? Oh wow. How far can I fall, huh? That sounds like a lot, but also kind of fun. I'm notoriously very bad at fighting games. You say your staff at that game? You mean like your uh, development staff? Like you worked on the game? 
Because that's really cool. I think there's something down here that I want to do. Yeah. Oh. I just sent that guy flying off the edge. Strategy over fighting? Okay. I don't think I have the key for this. But I can unlock... This is just the collector, right? I can unlock this shortcut, can't I? Or do I need the key to do that? No, I can do this. Okay, nice. So now we can go a little higher in Kingdom's Edge. A little easier. That's nice. Oh, like a moderator? Okay, because it's... So it's like a... Um, like a multiplayer game, so you do like mod stuff. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, I actually, oops, I don't know why, like, when I start falling in an area like this, I just, like, dodge all the platforms. Uh, but in college, I studied computer science, and so I wanted to do game dev stuff, um, but it's really hard to, like, find jobs in that industry, and it, it also seems like they overwork people and stuff like that, and I don't know. I, I like, I think I would be a really good video game tester to like find bugs and stuff, because I love looking for jank in games, it's so much fun. Um, but um, I'd rather just play games, you know? So I was like, if I can make streaming work as a career, like maybe I can't, maybe it's just a hobby, but if I can do this and make it work, I wouldn't be upset. So let's get over to the Coliseum, it's taking me a while. And we'll unlock the shortcut, too. These guys give you a lot of geo. For um, how like little and easy they are. I'm glad that I got the nail upgrade before coming through here, because some of these enemies take a lot of hits. If you don't. Nice. I'm, I'm doing a little better at defeating the bats. You and your opponent move. Oh, weird. That's cool. There we go. I'm trying to, like, actually use the other spells more. I find myself always using just the basic uh, spell. I should grab the upgrade for that, by the way. Yep, here's this shortcut. Very nice. And I think I have enough. Nice. I love Mark of Pride. I think I have enough to activate this. Nice. Yeah, 100. That's pretty easy. Uh, I'll have to check that out, that game. Um, but yeah, fighting games are really hard for me. Okay. Oh. Well, I, I don't think I was supposed to do that yet. I wanted to go and rest at the bench first. Did I screw that up? No, I didn't. Good. Yeah, those games that take years to get good at, it's like I've already invested all of that uh, time and effort into... Um, like TF2 and stuff like that. I'm. Oh, you want to talk about a game I'm bad at? Chess is rough, man. I'm really, really, really bad at chess. It's funny, Tiso talks so much shit, and then he, a Moloch just, like, crushes him. Oh, there's a secret over here, isn't there? <gasps> this guy's upset that I'm bothering him. <laughs> yeah. I do wish there was a stag station near here. That would be nice. And then I think there's like a thing that you're, um... Yeah, when you die here, your, um... Your soul gets trapped in this little chamber. That's cool. I like the way they do that. It's more difficult than chess? Yeah, I'm so bad at chess. Chess is one of those things you have to, like, read textbooks. How did he even get in there? Yeah. That dude has just been chilling in there for as long as he needs. He he's been there since before they closed it off. That's how. 
I love that the like king sitting on the throne is just long dead and all the other bugs don't care. Like it's so that is so Dark Souls as well. Like it's very thematic. Both of you at once with that. What am I doing? I, I sometimes I get in the mode where I'm just like, this enemy's easy, just die. Like, I'll just smack it until it dies. That's pretty stupid, isn't it? Oh, okay. I didn't remember these enemies having this much health. It's probably because I had more nail upgrades the first time I came here. These are like the upgraded versions of the little Baldur guys, huh? Yeah, chess doesn't have like mechanical difficulty. It's all mental, right? Um, I saw recently they made like a chess, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a fighting game that's also chess, which seems cool. Um, but I'm bad at both fighting games and chess, so I would be, like, very bad at that. These guys are kind of just get owned by pogoing on them, huh? This is the part where there's spikes. Do you guys always die in three hits now? Yeah, that's good. Now there are spikes. Okay. Oops. Oh no. Oh, barely saved it with a wall jump. Oh, I really wanted to hit them with that. Primal Aspids are so hard, man. It's really just a fighting game. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching NL play it, and he was like, you kind of realize, like... If somebody's just better than you at a fighting game, then, like, outmatching them at chess isn't gonna matter, because they'll just, like, beat you with the... the rook, or whatever. Trying to talk and actually focus at the same time here is a little hard. Nice, I bonked you into the spikes. Okay, heal up a little bit. I think, will you just roll off the edge? Yeah. Funny. Like FPS chess? Yeah. I've heard that one was kind of a joke. I think there's just a, like... Yeah. I was gonna say, Avenge Fly King. Oops. I was... I thought I was facing to the right. I was not. I like the design of this boss, too. It's the easiest one in the game. And... Like, they just nailed the visual design. Like, you can kind of tell that this is the first boss that they designed. For this game. And they nailed it. They just... 10 out of 10. I don't know. At least visually. It's, like, pretty boring to fight, but... It's not... Uh, visually, I like it a lot. Oh, come on. Don't... Get hit to Venge Fly King. That's embarrassing. I think that's the end of this Coliseum, right? This one's really easy. The second one is like a little hard, and then the third one is brutal. Fire. Oh, that's not the end of this one. Yeah, I remember the third one being just incredibly hard. Oh no. Aspid. Okay, well there goes all my soul. I can heal back up though, I'm fine. Where so many of my deaths in the Colosseums were because of these aspids. They're just the worst. Oh, this this part's funny. When the ceiling comes in close. Very nice. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Should not get hit by that guy. 
How much more is there? I, I really don't think there's that much. I forgot that the Forgotten Crossroads got infected. I think that happens when you get the dream now? I don't know. I didn't remember it happening that early in the game as it did uh, on this playthrough. Let's see, how much more? Come on. Oh right, it's not the Vengefly King, it's these guys. Whoa, what is that? You're freaking out. I already got one of them, okay. I should be able to heal up a little bit. There we go. Coliseum one down. I bet you I could do the second one too. Yeah, so Lumery, how, how many, um... How many hours did you stream for today? I try to go for like two or three, but I know that's not that many. Let's see, I bet you I can do the second one. It's when it it does that stuff. Oh, I have to pay for it, for it. Right, 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 right. This one costs like two hundred, right? Oh, four hundred and fifty. It's actually a lot. I might be here for a little while. This trial's kind of an ass, but I'll get a nail upgrade after this, so we'll be like very strong for the next couple encounters, comparatively. Yeah, I've got this, right? Nearly four hours, huh? Well, that's that's longer than my uh, longest stream. Yeah. Right, I forgot these guys jump. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's hard for me to um the farewell stream was long. It's hard for me to like keep the stream like high energy for longer than like 2 hours. We're at like two and a half almost. Um, I'll try to keep going for a while. I have a lot of time today. Okay, well that's not where I thought those guys were gonna go. It's funny that you can just change their direction if you hit them at the right time. Oh, I thought you were dead. You're not. Still? Okay. Damn. Bad time to choose to heal, huh? Nice, pushed him in the spikes. Spits, huh? That was a pretty good use of the spells. Okay. Do need to be careful, because you can kind of just take random damage from these guys. Ooh, I can do it though. I've got this. If you're kind of careful where you stand though, you can't get hit. Of course I am not. Yeah, I've got something to do later today, but it's not for a couple hours, so um, I'm content to play for a while. I just gotta keep remembering to get more water and like take little breaks for that. But other than that, not too bad. I forgot these guys happened. Nice. The scream? I yeah, I don't have it. I don't remember where it is. Um if you still have like a tab open to look, I would appreciate it if you would check for me, because I don't know where the hell that spell is. It's really good. I remember it being really good. Why am I getting hit by these guys so much? These guys are easy. 
They're really cute though. Another just very well designed enemy. Somebody showed me you can kind of just hit that enemy like that and walk back and forth. I was like, oh, they're not that bad at all. I'm not doing it very well, though. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. I know where the upgrade is, right? But I don't know where the spell itself is, is the problem. You're fake, aren't you, you little bastard? Yes. I thought that would have enough knockback on it to knock you further away. Yeah, the aerial part of this is where it gets pretty hard. But maybe I can be a little better at platforming this time. Oops. I don't want to just be standing where the enemies spawn. Classic Isaac greed mode mistake that I do all the time. Oops. You're low. But... It's going decently well. Eventually when there... It's just spikes here though. On the ground, that's when it gets really tough. So I need to try to save my health. Okay, heal up quick. Dodge the spikes. Yeah, this... I remember dying to this part a lot. This... Okay, we're doing okay. Overgrown mound? Where the hell is that? Is that in green path? That's in green path, isn't it? Nice. Okay. Barely any time to heal, but I managed it. Hey. In Fog Canyon. Yeah, that's an area that I always unlock and then just, like, ignore for a while. I shouldn't do that. Oh, damn. I'm taking a lot of damage. I have a little bit of an opportunity to heal. Yo, I might go get that next, honestly. After this, if I succeed here. These enemies catch me out sometimes, too. Oh, I hit one of them. Okay. These are all hanging out in the same spot. Yeah, thanks for checking for me, though. I appreciate it. Oh, there's more. Take six hits to kill these guys? They do actually kind of aim a little bit. Nice. The leftmost part of Fog Canyon? Okay, that makes sense. Upgrade for the basic spell is too. So I should get that as well. Here we are at the end. I want to just focus this one down, I think. I'm thinking these guys were really hard, but it's, I don't think it's that bad. I can just kill one of them fast. a bit close. Okay.
Nice, got the two hits. You can die. Oops, that was a waste. Definitely don't want to be doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way over here. Oh, and take damage for no reason. I was gonna say so I can heal for free. I got this. I really don't want to die to one of Lobble at the end. That would be dumb. There we go. Okay. Oh. It is done. Right? Yeah. Sweet. That's another nail upgrade. I am not even going to attempt the Trial of the Fool, though. Screw that. Nice. Those first two aren't bad at all. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Just again, and then... Let's see. I guess King Station is the best path out of here. And then I want to upgrade the nail. And go get the spell from over here. And then, I think in the Soul Sanctum... There is the upgrade for the other spell. I don't remember where the Shade Cloak is either. Hmm. That one. That might be in like the Abyss? I don't remember. Actually, not a bad idea to pay for the Trial of the Fool now, since I'm carrying so much cash. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I'm not going to do it now, but I'll pay for it. Then when I come back, I won't have to. It's always funny triggering all those explosive enemies, and then just... you keep going. Just let them freak out on their own. Shade Cloak is in the Abyss? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. That makes sense. Um... So there's more stuff to do in Kingdom's Edge, right? I want to fight uh, Hornet again to get um, the King's Brand, and then that lets you into the Abyss. So I could do that, too. I think I have to call the elevator, yep. So yeah, maybe that's, um, that's a good idea, too, because there's a lot of stuff that's blocked off by the Shade Cloak. Especially in Fog Canyon, actually, now that I think about it. Hmm. Okay, I, w I want the nail upgrade before I try to fight Hornet again, but maybe maybe the next Hornet upgrade is actually... or the next Hornet fight is actually the best path here. I think I will stop back at Dirtmouth just to see if there's, um... I bet you Sly has a Mask Shard that I could buy. And that, I think I only need one more. Oh, I do this wrong every time. We'll see how many streams it takes for me to actually um, enter the correct uh, King Station. Let's see. I guess, yeah, City Storms again, so that we can go the nail. This might not be the fastest path, but I think it's fine. Whatever. I can actually remember how to do it properly this time. Oh, narrowly dodged that enemy somehow. Oh, the Grim Charm. That's not a bad idea either. That would give me more stuff to do. I like the, the Grim stuff. Yeah, so I can do, um... I have a lot of ideas. Summoning layout? I don't know what you mean. Oh, loadout. Summoning loadout. Okay, so yeah. Like, the weaver charm and, and like, the... Yeah, there's the one that turns all your spells into, like, fluke enemies, right? That's That one's pretty funny. Um... 
And there's like charm combinations that do silly stuff. Um, I've never really like dabbled with that stuff too much, but I think it would be fun to try it. You know what game would be fun to stream is Dead Cells. Weaver something, yeah, yeah. I got the Weaver charm, and I think I, I got a charm notch too. I could probably get another charm notch if I want from the charm merchant. Oh. Feels kind of silly to do both of these um, nail upgrades so close to each other. Like we're gonna have a huge jump in power from the Nosk fight earlier this stream to now. Yes, please. Glowing Woman Defender's oh Crest. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Garadel Akari. Nice. And I think we only have one more um, upgrade in the whole game after this. Uh, for the true nail. So we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Um... Makes the summons explode, that's really cool. Let's just go this way. Um, I know the entrance to God Home was in the sewers too. Let's see. Yeah, so I guess Kingdom's Edge. Ooh, I would like to do the Grim thing. Uh, I was gonna go to Dirtmouth, okay, I'll do that. I keep thinking that there's like a jump up here, yeah. There definitely is something that blocks you a little bit, but... You know, when I had all that money, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to go, um... to that fountain in Ancient Basin that you have to put like 3,000 Geo in or something. Uh, but I don't have enough anymore. Oh yeah, in the crossroads? Okay, that's that's good to know. Let's see how many hits it takes this guy. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I'll heal up a little bit. Nine. Uh, nine or ten hits. That's not too bad. Fountain's not worth it. I never remember what you get from it. It's like a completion-y thing. It's not something that you really care about too much yet. Okay, and let's see if I can... Here, I'll actually go in the correct King Station this time. Mask Shard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go up to Dirtmouth. We're gonna get the Mask Shard. And then, I guess we'll fight Hornet. Or Grim? I'll do the Grim thing. And then Hornet. I don't know where the key is. Uh, for... to access more of Sly's stuff, to access his basement. He doesn't have a Mask Shard for me anymore. I think I need the, um... Yeah, I guess I'll get the key. Yeah, the, the key for Sly is, like, somewhere else. I don't remember. So, the Green Path uh, station is the way to go to get into the mountain area, which I can't remember what it's called. But as soon as I... it's, like, the King's something. I do remember it being kind of hidden. There's, there's a bunch of other stuff to do in that area, too, so... God, I haven't been in Green Path in, like, quite a while. If I find another mask shard along the way, it will be a new mask for us, so that's nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of more stuff I could, I could do in Green Path now. I have, like, pretty much all of the movement abilities. Oh, we one-shot those guys now. This is an early area. Nice. 
I do have to keep going up. Yeah, see, here we are. This is where I let Zoat die. Yep, I get the achievement for it. Leave Zoat to die. You suck, Zoat. I hate you. I can't believe it literally makes one of the Pantheons easier if you leave him to die. Like, whoop. That's so ridiculous. I love getting hit to the easiest enemies in the game. That one's a classic. Crystal Peak. Okay. Yeah, there's more stuff to do in Crystal Peak for sure. Um, I know there's... Well, there's is there like another Pale Aura up there? I think so. Um... Okay. I forgot about this fight. So the trick for this is to stand next to one of them, and then the other one doesn't shoot you. Or, and, and then that one doesn't shoot you, and you can focus on the other one. I can't speak. You can farm some soul off you for a little bit. I think I can actually just get soul from you for free. Yep. So it's one of these guys. It's kind of trivial with the dream nail, huh? <laughs> there we go. Oops, and I wasted all that soul. that I came through here? Yeah. There is... I want to say I'm pretty close to Grim already, but maybe not. I know it's in a, like, somewhere you have to go to the right, and then there's like a false wall. It might not be near here actually at all. This is maybe the... Oh, I, I just didn't get the charm too, that's funny. Alder shell. I think up oh, there might be more stuff. The map, as always, will help. Spike got me. I heard you before, Grub. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Keep going this way. Yeah, yeah. This feels right. Helen Cliffs. Yes, of course. Helen Cliffs. You said the mountains, and I knew what you meant immediately. Of course, it's the Helen Cliffs. I love having Gathering Swarm on. I know it's like technically kind of wasting. Yeah, me too, man. That's alright, though. Like, especially, there's so many games to play to remember all the names of all this stuff. I gotta remember, like, people's li names in real life. I'm not gonna remember random names of stuff like that. Although, there are certain games that I do have just stupid amounts of encyclopedic knowledge on. You know. That is just how it goes, though. This feels... right? Weird. I don't know what any of that is in reference to, but... Sure. Okay, this definitely feels like the right place. I think when I leave that room, it's gonna... Yep, here we are. Did I not do something that I have to activate to get this to happen? 
Oh, you keep going, I see. Okay. And then if I dream nail this... Yes. And that should have changed this room. Yep. And I just have to light the fire. And that's gonna summon the Grim Troop. A whole bunch of fun stuff to do. Now. It is a little annoying that you have to do, like, your chores if you want to fight Nightmare King Grim. You have to, like, go and collect all the little fires. But I guess if you beat the game and then the DLC came out, it was, like, a good, nice amount of stuff to do. Is there something more over here now? No, you're still dead. We go back to Dirtmouth. We'll see the effects of that. I think I have to activate the... Yep. Gotta activate the root again. If we want to get the rest of the essence, because I left the room. I thought it was going to be too far away for it to activate. I like how it shows you which essence you're missing. Uh, with a little animation. Um, that's pretty cool. I should really turn off those Steam notifications for um, stuff when I'm streaming. Yeah, the Grim, the everything Grim Troop is so cool. I'm always a fan of Halloween stuff, and that DLC came out around Halloween, and you can tell it's just good. I'd like to get all the essence that way. I don't have to go down there and do that again, but. I think Cornifer is nearby. I heard him humming. I probably passed him. Oh, that was weird. I wasn't expecting to make it up on that platform. Yeah. Yeah, the heart dash. Um, being able to do that is funny. I agree. getting a little fatigued though. See, I'm, I'm at like nearly three hours and this seems to be kind of my sweet spot for when I feel like I'm done. <laughs> um, I missed both Cornifer and some Essence. Okay, here they are together. That makes sense. Please tell me that's the last Essence. No. Okay, well I'll have to go through here again. Let's just get the map. Very nice. And I know there is a uh, dream fight to do in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hours does feel pretty ideal. Um, especially, like, I know... Because part of trying to get to affiliate is having an average of three viewers per stream. It's like, if I'm streaming and I know um, I've got more than three viewers, I should kind of like try to keep going, get that average up from like an analytics perspective. But that's, you know, kind of lame. I have time and I'm having fun and I'm playing a game, so... I'm trying to keep it about that as much as I can. Oops, that was weird. The nail art is really close. Yeah, I think that's what I'm headed towards now, but I don't fully remember. I would like to get some nail arts. That would be good. Oh, there's a lot of these um, bench flies, huh? I hope I didn't just like dodge the weight of the nail art. I feel like it's over here somewhere. a shortcut, right? Yeah. This definitely feels like where the Nail Masters live. Close to Gorb. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is a charm. Yeah, this is a special lifeblood charm. Joni's Blessing. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Really pretty with all the butterflies in the foreground and stuff here. I just, I love this area. This game is so pretty, man. It's just beautiful. It 
shortcuts are so nice too. It placed us right really close to the exit. All right, Cornifer. Yeah, Gorb. I couldn't remember what it was called. I thought it was Elder Who, but Elder Who is the one. Um, Elder Who is the one in the fungal wastes. My memory serves me right. Yeah, so there's like a breakable wall. I, I always want to call them um, illusory walls from Dark Souls. Yeah, here's Gorb. I don't even care what you have to say. I remember you were annoying. Um, the spell that goes upward is definitely good for this one. But I'm waiting to go to Fog Canyon uh, until I can do everything there. Maybe that's unwise, I don't know. You should go down pretty quick, though, since I have the nail upgrade. Oops, I didn't think I was going to dash that far, to be honest. Just one heal, any more, and I'll get hit. Come on, Gorb. You're not actually that hard, I just need to not be careless. Yep, like that, it's fine. Okay, so if it's hidden close to Gorb, it must be here. I, I don't care, again. Be gone. I'll listen to a lot of the other ones, but not not you, Gorb. That's enough for another thing from the Seer. This is uh, Nail Master, huh? Or is this just nothing? Oh no, yeah, this is definitely it. Gorb noises, yeah. <laughs> nice. Sweet. I think we cl we cleaned out most of the stuff here. I didn't get all the essence, but I don't really care. I can come back and do that off stream. Uh -huh. I don't want to waste gone. too much time doing that. I love these guys. I also I love that um this this animation here where he paints and stuff. Or no, the other one is the painter. Sorry. But um Yeah. What was I saying? Uh the boss fights are great. And the cutscenes are great. And I love that Sly is like the big the big one. Nice. And I think this, if you mash the button, you can make it keep going. And like float a little bit. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's see what the Dream Nail dialogue is. Green Kingdom of Thorns. So that tells us that the next nail art is in Green Path. And I think I know exactly where it is, too. I think it's uh, here, off this path. Because that is a thorny path. And I remember I tried to do that with like no movement abilities, only pogoing my first playthrough. It was very hard. I did not uh, do it. Um, it took me hours, and I died a bunch of times. And I was like, this is dumb. I, f I should definitely g do other stuff and come back. And then when I went back there, after having completed other stuff, I was like, whoa, it's kind of crazy how much easier this is. Oh, oops. I forgot to do the crystal dash, and now we have to do the tutorial area again. It's a lot faster, though, now that I've got all these abilities, I'll tell you that. And I can dash across the thing that you're supposed to fall through the first time. Controls feel so good, man. Yeah, easy. Okay, I, I wish I had just um, done the dash, but it's fine. Yeah. The other one is definitely better. Let's see if I timed it well. Oh, the perfect timing. Literally right on the bench. Are you going to tell me something about how... Oh, no, he's talking about the other, the nail uh, masters, that's cool. Yeah, the strangers, huh? That would be the Grim Troop. Yeah, you're freaking out, aren't you, Elderbug? 
you should ignore it. Actually, I think I want to go in the little tent first. Yeah. You're, you have interesting charm stuff. But I don't have any of the breakable charms yet. You smell something far below. That would be the breakable charms. I don't have them. She can make them unbreakable, but it costs so much, Geo. I should talk to you first, shouldn't I? Babala, Geno. I love their voices. Speak to Master, sure. Hello, Grim. All of this is just great. The lighting and sound effects and... I did call you. It, it was always kind of weird to me, the um, implications of this whole ritual thing, because I think Grim is supposed to be male, but there, there's like a maternal thing going on here too. It's cool, there's like weird gender, um, oh I should talk to you again, um, ambiguity, I like that. What do you have to say? Seek out the flame. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll put the thing on. And... I think I got an extra charm notch that I'm not using anyway, so... I always forget. I, like, get a charm notch and then I don't use it. Do you take two charm notches, though? You do. I bet you I can get more charm notches from... the uh, charm salesman. So let's do that. Character whose name I never remember. Eventually, I promise I will go fight, um, Hornet. Oh, actually, is this path blocked now? I hope I, hope I can get there easily. I, th I think you, you can get there no matter what. You just might have to take, like, a slightly longer route. You can just see the infection seeping in from the crossroads here. Salerba, yeah, yeah, that's the name, you got it. So yeah, they, they make it much harder to pass through here. Oh god. Got a bug on my tail. Okay. Yep, now I just go down through this room. Yes, this is right. Salerba. Very good fake names, too. The writers did a good job. I should have remembered Salerba's blessing is what you get uh, when you get all the charms. I would like a charm notch, thank you. Long nail is also cool. Um, I wouldn't hate to have long nail. And how many charms do I need for this? One more? I guess I'll wait. Because I'm not going to be able to afford it anywhere. Oh, yeah? Oh, I don't see it. Where, where? Oh, is that? That's the one that's somewhere in. There's like a path that. Is that here? This one path that I haven't done yet? It's interesting, you can see the little seam in the uh, map there, where like when the map was revealed. Yeah, I think it might be up here. I could go and do that. Um, that makes me want to do the stuff that's in Crystal Peak while I'm here, but that's too much, too much, too much. Uh, yeah, and then the fight with uh, Hornet is over this way, so let's see. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do this. Sure, because it's nearby. Nice, and I don't have to interact with those enemies, too. That makes it a little easier. Oh, I should have remembered you explode. Oh, run away. I think I may have taken the wrong path here again, because I don't think I can go through here. Yep, oh, he knocked me back in the other room. Okay. 
I like... I really like that they, like, change up this area and make the enemies harder and stuff when you come back, but I don't like that they, like, close paths off that just make you waste time. Like, that that's a little weird. But... I mean, don't get me wrong, this game is great. That's just, a, like... And I get why they do it. And it adds a little to the atmosphere, I guess you could argue, but... I don't know. So yeah, I want to go this way. Yeah, did, did you play it on like a console first as well? Yeah, up this way, okay. Yep, crystal dash right here. I remember seeing this. And I was like, oh, I just don't have to come back. Nice. It's done. Oh, yeah? Let's do the little combat room. guys are there. I, I'm a little over-reliant on the nail, I would say, when I play this game. I should use the spells more. I don't think it's, like, that big of a deal. If I wanted to try to do the last Pantheon, I definitely think that's something I would need to work on. Can I... <laughs> read? Yeah, I guess one thing on the mind, huh? You and a lot of Twitch chatters. <laughs> you guys, though, probably. The room with the nail upgrades? I don't know what you mean by that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go back over to the Kingdom's Edge. I guess is King Station. I think, um, yeah, so I, from Ancient Basin, there's, down here is the path to the Abyss. I just need to get the King's Brand before I can do that, which is this way. Okay. What time is it? It's almost four. Ooh, okay. What compelling thoughts, yeah, right? Uh, makes me think of the... <laughs> bonk, go to horny jail. Like, come on. Have, have at least some other thoughts in that head. I guess it's thematic. Do I have Defender's Crest? Uh... Let's see... Is that... Yes, I do. Oh, I was supposed to put on the Grim Child too. I, I never did that. I guess I'll do that at the next bench. Um, but I want to go down. I can go down and to the left. I haven't done that yet. I know that's not where um, Hornet is, but I can do it. I think? Wait, where? Oh, is this a path that I have to, like, break from the other side? Huh. Weird. Okay. There's all these big bouncy guys here. Probably should ju have just gone and got the spell from, um, Fog Canyon. But I think it's fun to do it this way. Kind of a weird order to do stuff, but I'm okay with it. Oh god, 
I wasn't expect I was trying to read your question about the loadout, and then enemies appeared on me. A defender's crest and the womb together does something funny, right? Is that what you were saying? It makes like stinky. You generate like stinky ads. To the B thing, or is that somewhere else? I don't know. I was pretty sure there was a breakable wall here. Was I wrong? Hmm, maybe. Drop song and Weaver. It's kind of cool. is Hornet either, but it is definitely something. So I will do it. Yeah, the charm interactions is cool. Kind of reminiscent of Isaac um, in that way, where like the combinations of items do cool stuff. This is where that like weird big... Oh god. That weird big NPC whose, like, tail I hit was, right? The hit- oh. The ass bit into the spike there. No such luck. I'm- I keep hoping that one of these little side things that I'm gonna do is gonna be a mask shard, and I'm gonna get more health. guys are the worst. They design like the perfect evil enemy. You know, I am gonna have to take a quick break to use the bathroom, but I will be right back. Sorry for the inconvenience. Right, and I'm back. Oh, you like the BRB screen, huh? I, um, I got this, like, drawing app for my iPad, um, and I, it has a, like, recording function for, like, a time lapse, and I was like, oh, you know, that would be cool. This was always something that I did when I was, like, a little kid. I would use, like, drawing apps on the computer and turn on the radial symmetry. Yeah, mid-2000s, right? That's the exact vibe I was going for was, like, um, Windows Media Player. Like, just kind of janky wonky. And I didn't have to pay anyone for it, because I made it myself, so... That's pretty... Oh, this is this path. Right, 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 right. And yeah, I, I made the stream start and BRB animations. I, I did them both in one day. I think I, I want to make, like, variations on them as well. Do additional recordings, because I still have the files up. But I've, I've just been... more enjoying streaming than anything else, really. We can come up here since we have the, uh, jump. Double jump. I think, yeah, I want to go to the bench first. I'm so indecisive. Is 
This is this is a really cool bench. I like this one. It feels very like camp snow camping in like a remote area. It's a very cool vibe. It reminds me of like a lot of um like media from when I was a kid. I had to read this book in school called Hatchet about this uh, kid who's like stuck camping in the Canadian wilderness or something. Um, it just reminds me of that kind of thing. I don't know. Now this is where we start to see the big jumpies. Or am I wrong? No, this is Hornet. Ah. You are why I am here. This always feels like it's going to be a secret, but it's nothing. Alright, I might just screw this up. It's very possible. I do pursue the deeper truth. Alright, Hornet. I forgot she can, like, counter you in this fight. Nice. Oh, that uh, was not what I was expecting. It completely locked me in its place there. Hornet! Yeah, I remember this fight can just combo you. I gotta be careful. Ah! Uh, it. Be mean. Why do I feel like you're gonna- there we go. Let me heal soon, I was gonna say. Oh, thank you for countering there, that was awesome. Ah, I did the wrong thing. That I should know, not have dashed there. Oh, Sha, indeed. Looking forward to playing as Hornet soon. I mean, if Team Cherry ever releases the game. I always, like, want to go for damage with the spikes there, but you, you don't actually get any. Oh, that jump up, I wasn't expecting. Oh, I should not have jumped. Okay. Well, at least there's a bench reel nearby. This fight is going to screw me up, though. Hornet is hard. Hornet 2. Hornet 1 is not that hard. I definitely beat Hornet 1 on the first try this playthrough. The boss runbacks aren't too bad, most of them in this game. The one that I hate is the Traitor Lord. Like, I don't know why they make it take so long to get back to the Traitor Lord, but it sucks. Hornet. will defeat you, Hornet. She's just testing our character anyway. Just the funniest part about it. There we go. Doing much better. Oh, I narrowly jumped over that. That was scary. You're psyching me out, Hornet. It feels like it should be safe to, um, pogo on her, but it is not a lot of the time. One more heal, and then I'll clear these. Nice. Oh, that was a really weird. I hit, like, just the edge of the hitbox. These spikes are scaring me. I did it! The nail upgrade really showing there. Very nice. Thank you, Hornet. I could do it if I had the will, huh? That was second try? I'm okay with it. She's pretty tough. Sweet. And we get the King's Brand. It's a long... I would have used the crystal dash if I realized. 
Very nice. So I guess this, this like weird worm body that we're in is the um. It's actually the the body of the king of Hollow Nest, huh? Weird time to win. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting it either. I love how we get saved by Hornet too. Okay, well. That's pretty exciting. I think there's a couple more things to do in this area. Brings canned, yes, hell yeah. Let's go. I I was a little worried that wasn't gonna happen. I'm, I'm gonna rest just to update the map. Oh. Yeah, and let's, let's just, um, here. I don't know why I keep doing this. I want to explore this little area. And I have not been to this, even though it's showing that I have for some reason. Because the next thing to do would be to go to the Abyss. Oops, now that I have the King's Brand, because I'm allowed to. I do want to just mess around in this area a little bit more. Is this right? Oh no, it's not. I'm gonna get stuck with a bunch of aspids here. Run away! <laughs> Heal back up. There's so many just like spikes just off screen in this game too. That is one gripe that I have. Is like you really do have to kind of look out. Is there a dream fight somewhere? Uh oh yeah, maybe. That that would make sense. Oh, that's why, yeah. That's why I can't go this way. I was like, I feel like there's a reason I can't go this way, and there is. I think the fastest way back to City of Tears is down. This aspid done. Very good. I don't know why I'm fighting these enemies. No point, really. Oh, it should just go up. This is nothing. What am I doing? Just bumbling about. Oh, Markoth is here? Yeah, I'd... I think Markoth is the fight that you need Shade Cloak for. That would make a lot of sense. I don't know. Maybe not. Shade Cloak is one of those abilities that when you don't have it, like, until you get it, you're like, oh, that's that wouldn't be that big of a deal. And then you get it and you're like, oh, this is, this is a big deal. <laughs> this actually matters a lot. Uh, I feel like I've been hit by that so many times coming through here. Now we're gonna head to Ancient Basin. Visit the Abyss. I wanna say there's like a mask shard somewhere in here too, in this path that I'm trying to take. So we wanna go to Hidden Station, that's right. We got the tram pass and I never used the trams too, which is funny. But it's fine. Can't do anything with that yet. I when I was here last I didn't have the dream nail. If I tried to dream nail that, I wouldn't be able to, though. Yeah, just need the King's Brand to get in here, which we just got by defeating Hornet. Onward and outward. I feel like I have relatively low health for the number of bosses that I've fought right now, but I don't know. One of my favorite segments of this game is the ascent back through this section. 
Um, it's just so atmospheric and stuff. I like it a lot. Oops. I'm bad at the game, though. It's fine. I mean, eventually... There is just a floor, right? Yeah, there we go. It's not really a floor, it's kind of just... Skulls of our siblings. The lore in this game is really brutal. Yeah, I I would love to see a speedrunner go through there. So this... I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? This is the path to... Uh, yeah, Abyss Scream? This is the upgrade for the thing that you get in Fog Canyon. So there's not even any reason to be here yet. Oops. So in order to go get the thing from Fog Canyon, I wanted to come here first, and then we're going to have to come back to upgrade it, but... Uh, crucially, there are lots of, um... Things that you need the Shade Cloak for, uh, in Fog Canyon. The Dreamer, in particular. Uh, the Teacher, I think it's, it's called. I love these animations, too. The Abyss fighting us. Abyss Shriek, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's correct. It has been quite a while since this game came out, so it's not super fresh to me anymore. I guess this is one way to climb this, huh? Oh, they hit you for two, huh? These guys suck. I hope I don't actually need to fight them. <laughs> Turn the lantern on, and this should mean we can pass for free. I don't know if those guys still spawn, though. The siblings? Called Howling Wraiths. Yeah, I would not have remembered that. It's up here. Yes. Is that just the path to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, because we can't go through there yet. So atmospheric. Just the, like this animation is so good, too. I love it. Nice. This is actually going to be huge for fighting enemies and stuff, too. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I could sell, too, for Geo if I wanted to. Thank you, thank you. Oh, right, I want to dash across again. I guess I'll just make my way out of this area now. Um. Oh, what I was talking about the climb section is like when you unite the, um, the two halves of like the big, um, the big charm that you need. That's the thing that you have to do to fight the Radiance. There's a charm, and then you, like, replay, like, canonically your character was born down here, and then you ascended. Um. And that's how, like, we left the kingdom or something, I don't know. The lore of this game is kind of convoluted. But, I mean, it wouldn't be a Souls-like if that weren't the case. It's funny, it put us higher up. Oops, I'm gonna fall again. We Just terrible gameplay today, but it's fine. I beat- finally did beat Nosk after three hard-fought tries. Let's see, what other bosses did I fight today? I don't even know. I was gonna do Fluke Barn, and then I- at the start, and then I just didn't finish. Nice, some essence. Um. I'd like to get this. Uh, oh no, this is the the blue door that you need all of the uh, 
blue hearts to, to go into, isn't it? Yeah, the dark charm. I don't remember what it's called. The king's soul or something. It's like a cool ascent section that you do. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream today. Probably going to end it up uh, pretty soon here. Yes. Okay, I got no idea what you're talking about, Hornet, but I'm just going to leave. Hornet's like waxing philosophically, and meanwhile, there's not a single thought in the knight's head. You need all the lifeblood charms, right? I guess we will briefly visit Fog Canyon. Oh nice, you're already here. I always love to check the map. Now we have the thing for the Abyss unlocked, very nice. We have nearly the full map. I think we're just missing the Queen's Gardens. Um, and some stuff like that. So let's... Um... Yeah, I tried to do it the hard way, which is... Um, sort of getting all of the um, individual bits of lifeblood from around the map without traveling. I, th I think it's intended to use the lifeblood charms for that, to be honest. I don't know. Another thing I love about this game is the, the path into um, the Queen's Gardens stag station where you like break into the stag station from behind. It's very clever. I'm glad they did that. This is the way to Fog Canyon. Yeah, the two big ones and four extra lifeblood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then just like good luck traversing through the map for long enough to not um, like take a little bit of damage. This feels right. To get to Shriek the Earthen Mound or whatever. Or is this the Queen's Gardens? This is the Queen's Gardens. This is not where I thought I was going. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to come this way, actually. I wanted to do more stuff in Fog Canyon before we come to the Queen's Gardens. Oh, the Delicate Flower. Yeah, that, um... That quest had me struggling. Whoa! That was a crazy... Like right on top of the watcher, or not, not, not watcher, the teacher. Like right at the teacher. This is one of the. You know, this actually might be a mask shard. I'm not upset to do this at all. I want to go up? I don't remember. Yeah, so you can take, like, these life blood hearts. Hey! Forget, you can use the spells to do that. Nice, another hollowness seal. I like, you know, again, the design is good. They put, um, like, a lifeblood thing in the middle of this, um, like, platforming section. That's kind of tough. What is this? Okay. This feels like more Queen's Garden's path, but this might be the thing that we were looking for. Is there any secrets here? No. Oh, I love the thing in the foreground. You see these um, pikes in the foreground? I bet this is where we get the spell from. This is definitely giving snail vibes. <laughs> I'm sweaty, it's giving snail. Okay, that's awful. Oh, okay. Right, you're, you're meant to do this much earlier in the game, where these guys are much harder. Because the nail upgrades really trivialize them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
get the shortcut. Sweet. Coming rates. Very cool. Um, let me see. I'm trying to decide if there's anything else I want to do. I could try to do the the teacher and then call it for the stream, but that might take a while. We have to fight Umu. Maybe I'll leave that for next stream. Um, I have, what, maybe like... Oh no, it, it is after 4. I should kind of go. I'm supposed to be somewhere at 5. Um, and it, it's just after 4 for me. Um, but the, uh, Lumery, I think I said it right that time. Um, yeah, you don't need the Shade Soul to get here. I know I didn't need it to get here, but you do need it to get to the Teacher, which is what I want to do next stream. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I, I got a follower out of it, so I appreciate it. It's probably your friend. Um, and, and I'll check your friend's stuff out as well. Uh, but thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you later. Um, see ya.